Welcome! This is episode 36. This video is the fourth in my four-part series on making a permanent do-it-yourself repair to a serious basement foundation problem. In this video, a professional contractor, Mike Anderson, joins the Let's Fix It Right team as a guest to show us how to make a permanent epoxy repair to a serious crack in my sister-in-law Debbie's foundation wall. Using this approach, you have the potential to save between five dollars to $15,000 as a do-it-yourselfer instead of contracting an effort similar to this to an expensive foundation repair company. These companies will want to perform major structural reinforcements to your basement walls, add interior basement drainage lines, sump pumps, etc. Based on what I've seen, these, these contractors will also perform a similar epoxy repair that we provide in this episode. In episode 33, we conducted an initial assessment of some basement foundation damage as it relates to my sister-in-law's home gutter system and exterior flower bed in the vicinity of her major water leakage and damaged basement wall shown in the upper left and lower right thumbnails. Using our approach, you have the potential to save between five dollars to $15,000 as a do-it-yourselfer instead of contracting an effort similar to this to an expensive foundation repair specialist. Episode 34 shows how to design, build, and install gutters and drain pipes on the roof area near the area that is causing the foundation damage. For estimating purposes, these drain pipe components cost approximately $100 at Home Depot, thereby saving you hundreds by not having to hire an expensive roofing contractor. In episode 35, I'll show how to design and install a French drain system along the wall and porch areas where the rainwater is pooling and contributing to this foundation damage. For estimating purposes, these drain hoses and attachments cost approximately $200 at Home Depot, thereby saving hundreds by not having to hire an expensive landscaping contractor. The Let's Fix It Right team is now down in Debbie's basement and getting ready to start the actual permanent epoxy treatment and repair. Prior to getting started, I would like to mention that this foundation damage was caused by water flowing down from above, freezing over and over, and generating this crack with water penetrating the wall. As you can see, the majority of it is coming down to here in this three to four foot area. We also suspect that the previous owner attempted to patch the foundation crack near the bottom and cover this area with drywall so the house would pass inspection just prior to Debbie buying the home. In addition, this fracture is most likely not from a footing failure below her concrete wall. Her damage appears to be exclusively due to water damage with follow-on ice-generated cracks that typically run through a basement wall due to high stress concentrations and large forces from expanding ice within the crack. Mike Anderson, our professional contractor and Let's Fix It Right team member, has just started the actual permanent epoxy repair. Mike has a lot of experience repairing foundation cracks like this one in our local area and he has a good start on this effort. In addition, Mike is the president and owner of Tomorrow's Tools at TomorrowsTools.com and the patent holder of the Mudmore Mix Ball that he's using throughout this episode. At the conclusion of this episode, we will provide links to additional YouTube films demonstrating his Mudmore Mix Ball and websites where you can purchase this truly outstanding, flexible, non-stick mixing system. At this time, I would like to ask Mike a couple of questions about our epoxy repair. Question number one, can you please explain to us what you're doing? And question number two, how successful has your repair approach been? Okay, well, question number one, what we're doing is we're gonna repair this foundation crack, a vertical crack here was letting some water in. We let it dry out. It hasn't rained in about a week or so now, so everything's dried out. And the process of fixing the crack is applying these injection ports, which is a little plastic tube basically with a flange on it. And that flange gets epoxy applied to the rim of that flange. And then it gets applied over the exposed crack. And then the rest of the crack around the injection ports gets covered with the epoxy. And then we take an, an injection epoxy, which is thinner, a runny consistency epoxy. And that gets pumped into the crack. So it'll fill all the way into the crack. We start at the bottom and we start pumping in the bottom here until it fills up and it starts coming out of the next 
injection port and then we'll take this plug we'll plug that one up and then we'll start pumping into this one until it starts coming out of this one we know it's full up to there and then we'll cap that one off and we'll come up here and, and just repeat the process all the way up the crack until it's completely full after about 24 to 48 hours that crack will actually be stronger than the rest of the foundation itself right there. I've been doing it for about 15 years now. I've done dozens and dozens of them and I have, I have never had anybody call me back. I've never had one fail. The only thing I have had is a house that was moving substantially on the foundation and it cracked identically to the crack that we fixed next to the crack. So this crack held, but because the house is moving so much, it actually cracked. That's interesting. Right, so then we had to come in and do extra peering and, and some other support. Sure. How many houses have you repaired over the years? Um, I didn't do this full time. I was a remodeling contractor, but every time I came across it, um, I've, I've probably done at least two dozen of them. Okay, all right. A couple more ports to put on at the top there. I've got to mix up some more of this um, epoxy and I'll put those ports on and then we'll start to cover that, that crack up around the ports and then we'll let that set up for about 25, 30 minutes. Once that's set up good and hard, we'll go ahead and start pumping the injection epoxy in. Let's get to work. Once again, at this time, Mike is using his patented Mudmore mix ball to prepare some thick epoxy for installing the final two ejection ports at the top of the foundation wall. He is now using this thick epoxy to apply a coat over all of the ejection port flanges and the outside of the entire crack starting at the bottom and moving to the top. Mike, can you please explain what you're doing now? Yeah, so we've got our injection epoxy. We've got all of the ports on, and that we've given it time for the epoxy around the ports to set up. So now we're ready to start uh, filling the crack up with the epoxy injection here. So we've got our mixer tube on here. There's two-part epoxy, so it's going to mix it inside this tube as it comes out. 
uh, the two into one. It'll mix it as it goes in there. So we've got uh, all of our plugs ready for us here. Get it started there, get the air bubbles out. It's kind of a slow process. The consistency of the epoxy is kind of close to vegetable oil, so it's kind of slow moving. out of the top one there. Okay. So we're going to release the pressure off of the gun and pull that out. Go ahead and plug that one up. Move on up to the next one. Keep working our way up to the top. It. So Mike, I guess that completes the job. Completes it, yeah, we'll just dry. Mike finishes by explaining that after the epoxy is dry, you can knock the injection ports off and cover them with thick epoxy, or if you're drywalling over them, you can leave the injection ports in place. Thanks for the great work, we really appreciate it. The French drain previously installed in episode 35 and the new gutters and downspouts installed in episode 34 will stop excess water from collecting outside Debbie's foundation walls. Now that Mike has securely injected epoxy into her large basement foundation wall crack, it's impossible for any water that may collect outside to leak into her basement. Debbie is free from this horrible damage. She can now have her drywall replaced and painted and new rugs installed. Thin epoxy repair kits with a mixer tube that Mike used are available to you on Amazon for approximately $1 to $150. For the thick epoxy, you can use several of the epoxies that are available at Home Depot, Lowe's, True Value Hardware, etc. As I mentioned before, Mike Anderson is also the president and owner of Tomorrow's Tools, featured at TomorrowsTools.com. This website features his patented Mudmore Mix Ball, which contains this information on the website. Mike's Mud and More Mix Ball is also featured in these YouTube videos at these locations. And it's available to you on these websites. This concludes this episode on how to make a permanent epoxy repair to a serious crack in a foundation wall. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and select the YouTube bell so YouTube will notify you of all my new projects immediately after I publish them. At this time, I'm moving on to my next project. You're more than welcome to follow. In addition, if you have a great project that you want to post on my YouTube channel, email me some pictures and a brief description of it. If it qualifies for the Let's Fix It Right standards to help others, I'll interview you over the phone as a guest do-it-yourselfer, produce a high-quality video, and post it on my Let's Fix It Right channel. For the year following this posting, I'll share 50% of the potential YouTube benefits with you. If you have any subject matter requests or recommendations, please contact me. All of this said, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel, follow my projects, and save a bundle of money doing it.